Yeah, and then I'll, I'll attack that guy. Nice idea. I'll, I think I'll flank around him. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, no. No, I'm gonna cast a giant fireball because I get it from a special class that I got on oh, I'm name from the wiki. I'm gonna kill everyone. Everyone's gonna die because of my character bond, and I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kill you, and I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill everybody, I'm gonna kill your whole game! And so I'm gonna kill this fat guy, and I'm gonna kill this tall guy, and all of you are gonna die. And I hate everything that you all do because you're all stupid, and I hate everything that you're doing because you're stupid doing. Then everything dies, and I nuke everything when Nitro 20! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to D&D Tips with me, Biosmium, yum, 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 yum. Oh my god, shut up. People ask me, <laughs> gee, why is your name Bios? I say, ha <laughs> that's a good question. Today, we're talking about when to say no for Dungeon Masters. As in, no, you can't go and kill the king for the sake of character bond. No, you can't go murdering every NPC in this village just because you have a vengeance against the color of their grass because that's somehow a character bond? And no, you can't be on your phone talking about Overwatch right now, you tootin' mean age needle teetle. Oh, but Bios, you've said that saying no is a bad thing. Why are you now telling me that I should start saying no as a DM? Hmm? What are you, a big fat liar on the internet? Hmm? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? No, 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 no. You see, DMing is an art. DMing is, is very fun. Running a game for your friends to enjoy and role-playing characters, it's enjoyable. DMing is tough, though. There's writing an adventure, running the game, diffusing arguments, calculating math, judging encounters, prepping everything, initiative, HP, XP, NPCs, their voices, lines and mannerisms, the dungeon, its enemies, walls, encounters, spells, monster attacks, CRs, story, engagement, character motivation, and making that when you leave to poop that nobody looks behind the screen. But DMing is a big job, and it's a fun one but it's way different than from actually playing. When you take up the job as DM, you're selling your soul to Satan. You're saying, yes, I can do this. So you better be ready for the bombardment of players wanting to do all their stuff. I mean, you're only one person and they're, they're trying to get all their actions through, through the game and it can be difficult. And I swear there's always this one guy who gets mad because he never gets heard. Just make sure to bring boom mics too. I mean, some, you never know, you just might need a boom mic. Regardless, players, a good DM wants you to be free, to do whatever you want. That's how D&D works. You, it's a game where you can do whatever you want, that's how the game goes. But this often gets to players' heads, and they can often end up telling the DM no. So, you all are in the mountains, and suddenly yetis pop out to attack you. No! This dude just said no to the DM. When does that ever happen? That never happens. Players never say no to the DM. It's always the DM saying no. It's always the DM saying no, you can't do that. It's always the DM saying and restricting players. And it's never ever players restricting other players from playing or the DM from his game or everybody playing the actual game. It's always, always the DM every single time. All right. Some yetis come out to attack you. No, because my passive perception is higher than their stealth. I looked it up. F you. You enter a cave and step on a trap. Roll Dex. No, I'm actually playing a mech robot and his parents were traps and he can't be affected by them. F you too! He jumps over you and perfectly stabs you in the back. You take 10 damage. Actually, no, my character doesn't have a back. F you! 
All right, for reference to all you players, your DM 99.99% of the time knows all your stats, your your things, and all the stuff you can do. He didn't forget. He's not forgetting your almighty sword of I know how to get all the stats to this monster. Sometimes, just sometimes, they want to leave you in the dark and come up with a reason that you can't do this right now. I mean, he's the DM. He can do whatever he wants. If he chooses that, you're now an... An elf cleric, I mean, you're an elf cleric now, he said, he's the DM, you can't contest that, you can't say, no, you, that's how the game works, if the DM says it, it's, it's happened now. Playing D&D is like improv, improv is a method of acting where you make everything up on the spot, like, uh, whose line is it anyway, if you've ever seen that. When doing improv, you make everything up. The biggest rule is that you can't deny what's happening in the situation. If it happens, it happens. For example, if an actor says, My God, you've got a gun! Everyone duck! You wouldn't say, No, no, I, I have a knife. You would have to play along with it and say, well, I guess it's time to kill myself. As if you were pretending you had a gun. And this is kind of how D&D works. It's like improv. If the, Except you're not playing with other actors, you're playing with other people, and the DM is like the main actor who's telling you everything that happens. So if the DM says it, that's what happens, and you have to respond to it. You can't sit there and contest it. I mean, unless he's clearly playing the rules wrong, and it's like something along the lines of, you take 10 damage, Wait, we're fighting a Tarrasque, I take 10 damage? At least put it in the form of a question and not saying, no, that's not how much damage Tarrasques. You can advise the DM, but don't be advising him every three seconds. He's the dungeon master and he wants respect for his game. So it'd be cool if you respected him a little bit. So when is the DM supposed to say no? Well, really not that often. Typically for moments when the story or adventure is going to break for it. DMs, you gotta have good judgment for this, especially when saying no. Well, what's a situation where I would say no? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here's an example. I was playing a game one time where everybody was in combat, and this character named Mallory was throwing one of her weapons at her friend, Chai Li, who was currently under control by an intellect devourer. She decided to curve her thrown weapon so that Chai wouldn't see it coming because he was a monk, he could have caught it. Well, she ended up rolling bad and hitting her other friend because of the curve. Mal ended up saying, well, no, I wanted to curve it this way. I had already rolled the damage and said that it happened. And this was the moment where I had to say, sorry, no, you hit your friend. It wasn't specified which direction you curved. It's tough love, but it kept the situation under control. But, but why, Bios? Why force the players to your whim? Why did you do that? You have to foster respect. Mal should have specified which way the weapon was going to curve, and she didn't. If I go back on my word and what I said, the other players are going to notice this, and maybe unintentionally, but they will take advantage of it. They'll know that they can say no to me and I'm going to favor them. Or if I say no to anybody in the future, they're going to think it's unfair. You have to do these decisions early on so that everybody gets an understanding of who you are as a dungeon master. And when your players respect your game, they're going to have more fun with it, to be honest. If your players are having fun murder hoboing their way through villages and all over straying away from the perfectly beautiful handcrafted adventure that you've constructed, that's a good thing. They're having fun. And yes, it sucks that they aren't on your quest, but D&D is about having fun, not about storytelling. But that means no one ever said DMs can't have fun. So go ahead, join in, go with the flow. D&D is like improv. You can go where everyone wants to and have fun on the ride. And you know what? If the players decide that they want to go to some random tavern in the middle of nowhere and just kill everybody inside, let them go to a tavern and let them kill everybody inside. Who cares? Saying no is not a bad thing. It's something you shouldn't do too often, but not something you should never ever do. There's an amount of control you have to have as a dungeon master, and you have to have respect for your game. And I guarantee, I guarantee you, if your players respect your game, they're gonna have more fun. Thanks you guys for liking and subscribing to my videos. I put a lot of work into these and I know they take a long time, but I plan on coming out with a lot more. So I appreciate everything that you guys say in the comments. I don't respond to all of them, but I, I really enjoy it when you guys comment. So thanks for all the positive feedback and I will see you guys next video.